Wait, if he lost the fishing pole from there, where'd the shark come from? What pulled the fishing pole? Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Goji Slayer, and, well, this is an okay fan film. Let's get right into it. First of all, I'm pretty sure that this is not a Kaiju Senshi War picture, because that is owned by Kaijuzilla, and I'm pretty sure it's not in the same thing. Like, I don't know, prove me wrong, but... Psh. So the film begins casually with a stormtrooper dabbing his days away, but then suddenly he gets devoured by a giant shark out of nowhere. And then, yay, the, the credits roll up and the actual film begins. And look, TV Inception. Speaking of that, this is an actual really random movie. I'm just going to throw that out there. It's not necessarily a bad thing. But the weirdest things that you never expect happen. Like earlier when I was poking fun at the fact that the, the fishing pole got thrown out of his hand. And then the shark came from his right when the fishing pole went over there. So it's just like, okay, another big fish took the fish, fishing pole or else this shark is shark acts machina. But, you know, whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Other is the ending. I don't want to spoil that right now, but it's unexpected to say the least, and it doesn't make much sense uh, in many ways. But we'll get in that later. All right. All right. So fisherman Steve is just going on his little journey in a swamp boat on the ocean, and he pulls up to a couple, I guess, friends on a rock two feet away from him. I don't, I don't really get it, but you know that's a thing. And, you know, they poke fun at each other. You know, he's saying, like, oh, I'm going to catch some so I can grill it. And he's like, oh, the only thing that you'll be grilling is your fishing li license. And then they all have a good laugh, and the guy just looks so depressed right here. And then he freaking chucks his line out. And, you know, he gets some, and he's like, oh, my gosh, <laughs> I got something. And, yeah, it's a little confusing, but, and then the line just, the freaking pole just gets chucked and just taken straight out of his hand. And then he's just like, oh, crap, what? No. And then a freaking shark comes out of nowhere and just bites his boat. Doesn't even attack him, just bites the boat and then leaves. Now, I don't want to really get into the story that much because I got a lot to talk about about the actual story but it being put together. And it's... I'm not gonna lie, it's a good story, and... I mean, I mean, spoilers start here, I guess. Plot twist, oh, there's two sharks, a male and a female. And, you know, they start killing these people. Uh, Brody's son, you know, Brody from the first, second... Yeah, first and second Jaws movie. Uh, he, the, his son... Non-canon, but isn't here. He's right there. Yeah, see? And, God, I need better light in the screen. Anyway, so, Brody's son is like, oh, God, the sharks. Uh -huh. And he teams up with this other guy, and they go out to hunt the two sharks. And there's a, lo a lot of story I'm leaving out, but, you know, this isn't an in-depth review. This is just my thoughts. And there's two sharks. And... One thing leads to another, and I don't actually remember if anything happens to the female, but the male uh, attacks, and, like, the guy that Brody's with, Brody's son is with, he shoots himself in the foot in the water to attract the male shark. I don't, I don't understand why, because the shark already knows they're there. He, does, he states, like, oh, they can splow, smell blood for miles, but... The shark already knows that they're there. So why the heck would he even do that? So he puts himself in danger. And, you know, if Brody gets up there with a sniper and he's sitting there on the boat, you know, classic Jaws style, you know, he's like, shoot the tank, shoot the tank, blow up. And, oh, God, it's, it, it even plays the same music. It's, um, you could have come up with a better, more original ending. You know, um... 
you didn't have to almost copy and paste the exact same ending from the Jaws movie. But this is when it gets interesting. When I thought I was watching in disbelief that the tank was going to blow up and, oh, God, everything saves the day. Uh, the shark actually, it hits the can and, like, bounces off the bullet. And the shark just bites into this dude's, he almost bites him in half. And is just munching on him and stuff. And it doesn't make sense how he's arrived at this, but he does. Like, he grabs a shotgun and, like, the dude gets out of its mouth. And Brody is on the boat and he shoots the tank again with a shotgun this time. And it blows up into, like, it doesn't even blow up. There's just fire. And I'm just like, is it a gasoline tank? I don't know. I really... Because I don't think it would work that way. Wouldn't it just, like, if you shot a gasoline tank, yeah, it would most likely explode. But not, it wouldn't, that area of the ocean wouldn't just ignite in flames. And I don't, it's, it's something else, I'll tell you that much. Uh, and, yeah, that's the ending. Now, my pros and cons. Let's get into that. This movie has a lot of pros going for it. One of them is the very eerie beginning, just to set the mood. Also, the cool opening credits. It gets you pumped up for another shark movie. The ocean, as a matter of fact, is one of the best. It's right next to Kaijuzilla's. It's really good. You can't see straight through it, and you can't see any of those, like, tub lines or whatever. Uh, original idea with the two sharks, the male and the female, that was good. But by far the best thing about this movie is the scene at night when the first guy dies and they're getting ready to kill the sharks. It You feel for them because one of them is freaking out because one of them died and the others are trying to calm him down and you can tell he's going to do some some insane crap in the morning, and he does. He gets in a scuba suit and dies, blowing up, which is interesting. Now, for the cons. Well, there's no explanation about the stormtrooper in the beginning and what he was doing there. Maybe, like, a news thing or something would have been good. And the lines in this movie can be really awkward and hilarious at times. Some shots are very blurry and dark, darker than they need to be. I mean, the night scene was good, but the underwater scenes, not so much. A lot of things are illogical. Like the thing of gasoline on the boat. It can't be an air tank because it didn't explode and it didn't shoot away. It just ignited. And also, the ending was too anticlimactic. What the heck? Like, he... He's almost bitten in half, and he gets away fine. Then Brody freaking shoots a shotgun that takes a, the bullet five seconds to get to the actual tank, giving Mark enough time to climb out of its mouth and swim away. And then it just hits it, and it just ignites, and oh my god, it's so much to come it didn't make sense. Oh no, shark, do something. Do something. Don't you pull this crap again. Oh my god, he did it. He put the tank of gasoline in his mouth. Oh no. <laughs> the shark slowly floats away. Moving away. Come on, move over here. Whoa, dude, you don't need to shoot yourself. It already knows you're here. It's gonna come back. Why would you even just go into the water and your your blood dripped in the water? Those lines though. Yeah, man, stop missing. Oh, my God. Stop 
Say hello to fish. Oh, ha 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 I don't care. Well, that sucks. Wait, what? What? That's the most anticlimactic ending ever. What is this? You call this an ending? It doesn't even make sense. <laughs>